Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 65, Football Manager 19. We are playing as uh, Barnet FC, and this is my main save. We started this with Infield Town FC uh, after seven seasons, uh, moved up to Barnet, and we've been here uh, in our second full season now. Uh, so I just got a new contract. Uh, so they have offered us... Uh, Pretty nice raise, uh, and we are up to ninety-three thousand five hundred a year. Uh, we talked them into a twenty-five percent relegation salary drop instead of thirty-five that they wanted. It's a two-year deal, so that's nice. Uh, I'm well, I'm not surprised they offered it to me because if we look at the board, uh, let's see the board board confidence. Pretty high. We're untouchable at 78%. Uh, very pleased with competitions. Um, very pleased with finances, locker room, leadership support, and satisfied with tactics. Uh, so if we take a look at that, we're not, well, let's put it this way. We're not doing well. So last match was what? Somewhere up in here. I forget exactly what. Well, sounds like people are starting to wake up. Um, yeah, I don't remember where we left off. Uh, I don't think we watched the EFL trophy. It was, uh, I think it was Crew, Exeter City and Crew. Uh, so, anyway, after that, Oxford, uh, Aaron Wilson got a goal. Adam Pete was sent off in the 91st minute with a straight red. He was suspended for two games for that, and then the league suspended him an additional two games. So, he, he missed four games for that. Uh, Belickery Town, 2-2 uh, draw, Dion Pereira, Stephen Dua with goals. Andy Simmons, back from injury, coughed up the equalizing own goal in the 93rd minute. Some bad luck. 2-1 uh, defeat to Forrest Green. Stephen Dua scored again. Our keeper gave away the winning own goal in the 56th minute. So that's two losses or draws from own goals. We then went into the FA Cup first round against Macclesfield Town, and we won 4-2. to Aaron Wilson, Stephen Dua again. James Justin converted a penalty, and Freddie Madison a late goal. And then EFL Trophy, 3-0 win over Northampton. Dua once again. Connor McElhaney and Broccoli in the 94th minute. We came back for league action against Bradford. 4-4 draw. Uh, let's see, Dion Pereira, a goal, Dua, a brace, and Reese Deacon, an equalizing penalty in the 90th minute. So that was lucky. Uh, the FM gods kind of turning and smiling on us for a change. 3-2 to two loss to Petersboro, Dua again, Broccoli again. Uh, just not enough firepower. Uh, giving up way too many goals. And then we just got our first league win in since... The Morecambe game. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven matches in a row without a win in league. Uh, we got a 2-1 win. Cambridge United, we were actually severe underdogs. Aaron Wilson, Freddie Madison with goals. We gave up a penalty in the 94th minute to uh, blow the clean sheet, but that's okay. I was coming back for Cambridge, but because we advanced in the FA Cup, to the second round, we're playing Lincoln City at the end of November, so we're back for that, and then the Salford game that we talked about. Taking a look at the competitions, you can see at one point we were top of the table. Uh, we have fallen down to mid-table, 10th position, sitting on 30 points, still, still in striking range of the playoffs. Again, our goal this year was to avoid relegation. Uh, the team we had discussed finishing in the upper half, so we're still on pace to do all of that. Um, naturally, of course, we would like to reach the playoffs. Taking a look at finances, 
Uh, right now, we are actually in a slight profit range for this month. Uh, we have made 359000 for the season, uh, 13782 this month, uh, and we actually lost just a little bit So uh, last month. So all those... The money that we made in the friendlies at the early part of the in the early part of the season really helped out. Uh, I am expecting that to drop. We're currently in the middle of another uh, coaching badge course to move up uh, in coaching badges, so that's what's going on. And I don't believe so. If if crew was our last game, that would have been ten twenty one. Yeah, nothing new. We do have a new player coming in, Alex. I, uh, Alex something or other, Akavidi, uh, from Salford. He's a center back. He'll be joining us uh, January first when the transfer window opens. And then, of course, we have the two guys that will be joining us at the end of the season, uh, midfield and winger. Uh, but uh, we'll take a look at him. We'll probably revisit him. But he is a center back, left back, defensive mid, six foot two. He's got strength. His physicals are nice. He's got a little bit of pace, jumping reach, heading, marking, tackling are all above average. So really solid. Mentals are dominant. So I expect this guy just to come in and be a stud for us. And if we look at our center back depth, uh, Simmons and Spooner are both on loan. So Hicks and Neal are the only two that we have under contract. So uh, he's going to come in and probably uh, move into the starting 11 with Simmons. Hicks will move over to the bench, and then that allows him to be left back, center back off the bench. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at. So let's get into today's match. So we're 2-0-2 two, oh, two against Lincoln. Uh, we are slight favorites at home. So, I want to go with, we've scored a lot of goals with this particular tactic. We've conceded a lot of goals. I also want to put, uh, I want to try, this is our keeper. Luther is on loan. So, I want to give our guy a couple of starts. So, we'll see how he does today. So let's see, we've got uh, Wilson up top, Madison off the bench, Pete back from suspension, Pereira, Dua has been dangerous. All right, let's get to it. Who's back there? Me, Jordan. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, that's okay, you getting ready for work? Yep. Cool. Now I tell, I tell them when I'm recording, it's real life here, so. <laughs> Oh, is it? You got a jacket? I have a jacket. I just don't have a pullover and hoodie. I lost all of them. See if, uh, we'll wake Sean up. See if he's got one you can borrow. Yeah, it's all right. I got a regular jacket. All right. Yeah, all right. We are in the yellow kits. Lincoln City in the gray. Either that or they're just very dirty. Not sure which. I'm just going to say they're dirty, right? That's, uh... <laughs> All right, Higgins up to Pike. So they've got the, they've got the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Because I'm old and I forget shit. Oh, off target by Cashman. Uh, highlight, that's it. They had the highlight. <laughs> Come on, boys. All right, let's uh, get creative. Inspired. It's very Churchillian uh, verbiage spewing from my mouth. Uh, just on an off topic, uh, I am going to start streaming more. It'll be non-FM related, uh, some of the secondary stuff. So uh, right now I'm going to be streaming uh, RimWorld, and that's on uh, Twitch twitch.tv. Uh, what a save by Oluwuyemi. Ah. We're going to have to come up with something for that. If you've got a nickname idea for him, let me know. All right, cleared out. A uh, little offsides, maybe, or a foul. Cool. All right, here we go. Awaniwi into the box. Oh, get it. Oh, man. 
What a traffic jam right there in the mixer. All right, Justin, long throw to the edge of the box. Stevens, shot! Pereira, no! How was he off sides? Oh, show me a replay. I need a replay. All right, hold on. Pereira's right there. Oh, he was on sides when the ball came to him. Oh, that's shit. <laughs> that's crap. All right, uh, how are we doing? 10 to 2 on shots, possession. All right, let's go look at tactics. All right, we're going to come off of this, and we're going to go to that one. Now, that means Vinitz is actually a striker ability. Can I slot him? Okay, we're better there. All right, let's go back to pep talk. Morale boost. All right. Come on, boys. Get creative again. Not quite as inspired. You know that match I was just when I was showing you guys the score and our keeper gave up the own goal. Uh, he still played a six eight rating. I was like, "What?" All right, Awaniwi, he's playing real well. Let's put Bill Bailey over there. Billy, Jordan Stevens is probably our best player. Adam Pete will put you on. Try to get some fresh legs out there. Push forward. Frustrated. And Justin. Okay, we can move Spooner over to the right and then Neil into the center. Oh, no, no. Oh, what a save. Knocked away. All right. I think we'll settle. I mean, you know, we... Oh, come on, boys. I think we got FM'd here. 20 to 6 on shots. 57-43 possession. We only managed two clear-cut chances. Eight shots on target. Three long shots. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say it was disappointing. We should have won that match easily. So we have to replay that. Oh, that is utter crap. You'd think cups would go to stoppage extra time or, or whatever. All right, so where where do we re-slot that? So that's going to re-slot after Salford City. All right, well... We'll be back. We'll do Salford City next. And uh, so I guess we won't see. I don't know. Maybe. I tell you what. I'm going to play Salford City off camera. And then we'll come back for Lincoln. Because we really didn't see the result. Right? So see you guys back here in a second for the replay. All right, guys. We are back. So we ended up beating Salford 2-1. to one. Uh, We got goals from Connor McElhaney and Patrick Awaniwi. And uh, yeah. So Woohoo! Wins. All right, so we are back up to eighth position, only two points out of the playoffs. Our goal differential is still really good. Exeter City has caught us there, but uh, yeah, so we're doing all right. I I'm I'm happy with where we're at. I'd like to be, you know, we're only three points out of fourth position, right? There is a little gap there between automatic promotion, so we're gonna need to kind of go on a run. But we are climbing. We've got two wins in a row. Uh, we have had a couple of issues. Uh, we have uh, put several guys on the availability list, including S Broccoli. We have listed him. We actually went to go offer him a new contract because he expires at the end of the season. And we got the big red warning banner, and his agent said, he's not happy with your team. He doesn't want to even talk to you. So we transfer listed him. 
I don't know what we did to piss him off, but we've transfer listed him. Uh, Rob Hall, we have listed as well. And we have listed uh, Jaden Bennett's one of our guys that just hasn't played a ton. And really these, he's a cost cutting move. Uh, Dion Pereira is still listed. Um, he's still unhappy. So in fact, let me go ahead and offer him out right now. Offer to clubs valued at 110. So we'll offer him for 90. All right, let's get to team selection. Uh, we are we are the underdogs on the road. So I am going to end up going, I'm going to go with this tactic again. All right, Bennett's out wide. Pete Broccoli in the middle. Uh, Olawemi, I'm going to put him back in goal. And McElhaney. Yeah, he's the young guy. We just moved him back up from the under 23s. He has uh, two starts now, so we're going to put him in the starting rotation. Let's get to it. So this is the rematch. And let's go ahead and... <laughs> See if we can boost him up a little bit. All right, we are in the blue. I do like the blue kits. Uh, Walters. Oh, look at that crap. How come my guys are always offsides when shit like that happens and they just like, it's a goal, man. Put it in the net. See, when it rebounds, isn't he offsides? I'm thinking he might be offsides. I guess you can't be offsides on your own ball, but, you know, still. Uh, let's uh, demand more. I mean, our keeper made a nice save, but... All right, Wilson. Plays it up. Laid off. McElhaney gets to the ball. Crossed in. Volley! Aaron Wilson, number 15. Good job, fellas. Can't praise you yet. Well, that was a nice hoof. Praise. All right, played out. Converge. Just a little too close for comfort. Come on, boys. Man, I wish our team could learn how to throw the ball in like that right to your guy, and then they just control the ball. Nice save. Good clearance. Damn it. Damn it. Demand more. Set piece goals. Not good. All right, we're doing okay possession-wise. Come on, fellas. Two to one, I'm down at the half. I think... All right, where can they play? They can apply, uh, attacking mids. So we could do that. That brings a guy farther back. Yeah, let's do that. Pep talk. And... Avoid a booking. Not what I'd really like to play, but maybe when I sub off one of my guys, we'll drop it into a defensive mid. Oluwayemi, Bailey. 
right, we got a highlight going. Plays it up right to the other guy. Rig. Cleared. Headed down. Nice control. Bailey. Plays it up to Bennett's. Good. McElhinney. Squared into Wilson. Broccoli. Pete. Up to Wilson. Into McElhinney. Oh, get it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on. Put it in the net. Push forward. How are we doing? All right. We've lost a little bit of possession, but we're putting more pressure on the goal. Uh, all right. Bailey. Ugh, Bailey's playing for shit. Um, defensive right. All right. Yeah. Harrison Neal. Probably should have subbed him off earlier, huh? Um, mid center. Mid. Andy Simmons. But I don't have a defensive center that can come back. Damn it. Um. How about I'm going to bring Bennett's into the middle. Push forward. Come on, boys. Madison, let's bring you on for some fresh legs. There, bring you up. No. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Am I ruining the day that I started our keeper? Maybe. Maybe. I think we expected a little bit better here. Just not much in the way of highlights for us, man. Come on, boys. Show some passion. That's going to be it. Oh, yeah. Just sit there and watch the ball, dude. Hello. Really? Fucking loser. All right, we, I think we came back. We played relatively well. That was not good, though. Uh, no, that's bullshit. Uh, passionate, um, assertive. I'm not happy with your performance. And you, aggressive, not pleased with what I saw from you today. He looked fired up, even though he's unhappy. All right, that's disappointing. So, yeah, man, yeah, we only picked up 2600 bucks from that. Shit. And wasn't that our goal? Uh, ooh, Pereira. All right, so Shrewsbury. Pereira's been unhappy since I took over. He'd been wanting out from the end of last season. All right. So they're not asking us for any money. Sixty-seven thousand. He's valued at one ten, but he's in the last year of his deal. Can I get them to give me fifteen percent? All right, we'll accept that. Uh, accept all offers of a higher or equivalent. Bye bye. Yeah, we need to get rid of a few players. I mean, we just don't have a choice, I don't think. We're well under the payroll cap. But still, um, yeah. All right, we were supposed to reach the second round, so we did that. We should have won that, honestly. I think we should have won that. 
but that's okay. Now we can focus. We're up to eighth position. Where do I come back? We're in the latter half of the season. Boy, that's a lot of away games. That Well, three and four. Chester. I guess we finish out the month. Let's come let's plan on coming back at the end of January. That'll get us to the end of the transfer window and we should be able to see what if any new players that we pick up at the beginning of January. Uh, we can take a look at that. So yeah, let's let's plan for that Bury in York City. So thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, share the video, anything, you know, I appreciate it all. And we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.